So, do you ever have one of those days where it it just all goes wrong? Yeah, I'm 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 definitely having one of those days. This is my third attempt, I think, to record this episode, um, and the first two really have not gone very well at all. They um they've been recorded numerous times now. I went through and recorded the playoffs. We'll talk about those in a moment. And some sign-ins and even ended the episode on a little bit of a little bit of a cliffhanger. And then found out that the uh, the audio just hadn't recorded. Thanks. So I went back and I re-recorded the episode. Gave a bit of a you know, a synopsis of what had happened. I did it in parts, checked the audio in the first couple, and it was all there. I thought brilliant, great. And then tried to put it into the editor, and the audio just wasn't there anymore. So now we're doing it for the third time. And I've got the audio recorded in two different places this time. So I'm really hoping if you if you hear me talking right now, then it's it's worked. Hurrah. Um, and we have a video. So let's talk about what happened since the last episode. Because we had the playoffs. And we went into the playoffs in fairly okay form. Wasn't brilliant, but it won bad. Um, and we did well, as you can see. Um, yeah. We actually did amazingly in the first one 3 0 in the first leg and 2 1 in the second. Rumbled right past them. Fife trashed Guildford 11 3 overall. Sheffield 8 4. Nottingham 7 4. So, yeah, not too bad. These two teams were coming out as the big ones. But the second half of these were only one games, so knockouts. And then, even though they won 11 3, we still managed to trounce them 4 1 and moved on to the finals. And Sheffield just eked out. A 2-1 victory. And then we come to the final. And yeah, that final hurt. We went in into the lead. In fact, can we open up our game by game so we can see it? Probably staring me right in the face, isn't it? It's probably staring me right in the face. Go into schedule. Quite what I'm looking for, but thank you. Yeah. Yeah, so period one, they get a goal, we get a goal. Then period two, they get a goal, they get a goal, they get a goal, they get a goal, then we get one. And then period three, just nothing happens. It's just, oh, it's just, it was painful. It was, it was just really, really painful to watch that. Um, well, that does mean is go to stones never remember where it sits on this one it's not stats not events it history yep yeah, it's history what it does mean though is even though we won the league because they beat us in that one match at the end they are technically crowned champions of the eihl and not us and that would be the first time we would have won it about 12 years. So that that stung. That really did sting. What we then tried to do afterwards, if we go back to Belfast, is we were looking to try and re-sign some players. Go to our contract screen. And you can see here, Cullen, who was the first one that we re-signed. 26-year-old, four-star, right defence. Um, and then Gilbert. Now, I know I've talked about Gilbert potentially moving on, but at the end of the season, his stats aren't actually that bad. Go to his career stats. 54 games, 22 goals, 24 assists. He's 46 for 54. That's pretty good. So we've re-signed him. Um, he took a two-year, a little bit more pay, and a no-movement clause. But we got him. So if we then move it up here. So we've got a few players, two years. we got Cullen. He's renewed for another year. Then all of these people here, this is where it gets interesting. Let's quickly go back to the info. Peyton Jones. Now, 
His contract expires in 2023. Now, bear in mind, next season is going to be the 23-24 season. That means his contract is due to expire soon. And I try to renew it. In fact, you look, he's just not interested in further negotiations. I don't remember negotiating. And he's unhappy about the negotiations. And I, I don't know why. I really don't know why he is not happy with these negotiations. You look at him as a player. He's happy with the morale. He's happy with the harmony. There's nothing he's unhappy about. And he's OK. He's got a little smiley face right there. Look, he's happy. Well, he won't renew. And that's the same for, for the rest of them. Um, I was working my way down the list, which is how these two got their contracts. But Con um, Conway didn't get one. McCauley didn't get one. I think I tried Angeli. I can't remember. I can't even see a contract on there. Oh, weird. CF main again. Foreign player. Okay. But yeah, it's just struggled. Could not could not get them on. Um, if we look at the upcoming free agents, we could be losing a significant amount of our talent. And there's no one unsigned. So it could well be we just have to start raiding the free agency. And then we get into the same issue that we had all season. Trying to, I mean, there's no decent English people in there. And I did find, right at the very end of the season, go into, I think it's League Notes and Notes. It even does say, uh, yeah, UK has yet to produce a significant F NHL caliber player apart from British born Canadians. Um, well, there's been some promising prospects. So even this bit says that basically our system sucks. So, yeah. Um, we may struggle next year. We may indeed struggle next year. And then after that massive sting of technically losing and the issues that we then have with potentially re-signing the players, we get a job offer come through. And it's this bit that's kind of got me a little bit stuck. And this is potentially where it may need some advice. And this is where you can give me that advice in the comments section. Hint, hint, hint. Um, yeah, NCAA, this is the American Collegiate Association National... Oh, I can't remember what it stands for. I mean, it probably tells me in League Notes in here. Probably Academic Association, I'm guessing. National Collegiate Academic Association, maybe. Don't know. I'm not American. Please don't hate up on me. I just don't know. But yeah, they've offered me a job. Payment wise, we're on two grand currently. So we'd be basically part time in and supplementing our income, you know, our main income by doing this job. They're only offering 5,818 for a season. And if I realistically was to move to America, I'd probably be looking at two seasons for a little bit more stability but 5600 pounds into us dollars you're looking around about 7000 us dollars and that's not a lot to live on for the year i'm guessing now i am trying to base this upon realism as much as i possibly can so i really don't know whether or not i can take this job you know is that just for managing the team and then would there another job that goes alongside it doing you know, other work on campus or is that it is that just the pay because if it is if it is then then yeah that we got to reject it just cannot possibly move to another country on that sort of money the third option because the other the first option is we we do that rebound the third option is we kind of start phoning it in a little bit at belfast we try and rebuild as best we possibly can. But, you know, you get to that point in a job where you, you know, you've already got one foot out the door. You, you kind of, you know, you don't really care. And you, you are literally just phoning it in. You're doing it to the you know, the minimum that is required. Um, we'll grab enough people. We won't particularly care about where we land in the playoffs. And we just sit there and we just keep an eye out for another job just to come in, see if we can find one. That's that's realistic. 
I've done that. I've done that on jobs before. You know, just you've been there a while, kind of hate the job. Just, you know, you're looking around. So that's kind of where we are at the moment. And yeah, that's kind of where I I, I kind of want your advice on. I mean, contract wise, we're good. We are good for another year. Uh, if we go into here. So yeah, we are good for another year. But we're not on much. So yeah, I'm totally up for jumping ship. Um, I mean, stat wise, we have made a pretty good. Uh, even says that. Even says no to championship. It's, that's such a such a stinger yeah so that, those are the options stick around at belfast put our hearts into things try and get it rebuilt and try to become champions next year or we take the main job when we move over to america and we look at the collegiate system um i mean they are I mean, team wise they are not brilliant they are really 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 bad and i mean that would be a proper proper full-on rebuild or, yeah, always just start phoning it in and we keep an eye out for another job. Um, do they even start? And we've we'll had the summer off, which is nice. Look at that. Lost, 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 lost. Lost, lost, lost. When do they actually even win a game? There you go. And lost, lost, lost. Lost, lost, lost. Yeah, I mean, they were there. I know I looked at this earlier on one of the other recordings, which unfortunately didn't record. Joy. Um, let's go into here. Yeah. Four wins, 28 losses. Did not win away from home once. Only won four times at home. Yeah, that'd be fun. That'd be different. And yeah, so, I mean, they're looking at total rebuild. If you have a look at, go back to, to there again. The Outlook Total Rebuild. GM is Ben Barr. I was saying that. I thought I checked earlier and they didn't have a GM. Oh, you must just be temping for them. So, yeah. Um, that's kind of the, where we kind of leave things. Oh, jeez. Look at those. Yeah, that's going to be an effort. Uh, that'll be where we leave things for now. Please let me know in the comments what you feel, uh, what you think you, know, you would do if you're in the circumstance. And I will see you guys um, next time. Yeah, thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.